Hi everyone and welcome back to Less Tax to Pay and our tutorial videos on cloud accounting solutions. Today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks Online and how to record subcontractors. So if you're a part of the CI scheme and you take on subcontractors, how you record the taxes that you deduct in your accounting software and how you make the payments and how you can pull off reports to give to your subcontractors at the end of the period. So let's get started. Just before I start, if you're new here, subscribe. Also hit that bell notification. It gives you just that notification when we do new videos. Um, also drop a comment and drop a like. Um, we're seeing a lot of traffic around CIS. The CIS is not really covered with these um, cloud accounting solutions on how to use it in the most effective manner. So do have a look at the other videos that we do with reference to making the module. Uh, how to create your own sales invoices if you're a subcontractor, how to look at the CI Suffered report. Um, we do that for all the different software packages that we use. Um, and this is just another another part of it is if you decide to take on subcontractors yourself, how you can best record that in the system. Now there's two different ways you can, you can deal with it. Um, I'm going to show you the most efficient way for yourself to deal with it. Um, but there is another way that I can show you in a different video, which is if you're just doing going through your bank statements and doing a bank reconciliation and entering the expense rather than entering what we're going to do today is enter a bill for a CR subcontractor and then paying it off. So as you can see, we're in the dashboard at the moment. And what we need to do is we need to start creating bills for our subcontractors. So they've done the labor or they've supplied materials to us and we need to enter that into our software so then we can then arrange payments against those invoices and track um, our suppliers as necessary. So what we need to do is we need to go to expenses and suppliers. Now I'm going to treat it as if there is a brand new uh, subcontractor that you've never used before um, and the process that you need to do going forward. So we need to go up to here and go new supplier now we need to type the name of the supplier in, so I'm just going to use ABC Construction Limited. And it's this little tick box here which says is a subcontractor. So once you tick that it will give another load of options underneath, which is obviously the UTR number, the national insurance number, whether they're a company subcontractor or whether they're a partnership, trust or individual. Um, it will ask you for the UTR number, the national insurance number, the verification number, so obviously if you verify them, and what rate they've been verified at, so whether that's gross, standard, or higher. So we're just going to use the standard. I'm not going to fill any of this in um, because we haven't verified, and you can move forward without verification, but if you do that, you should be doing deducting them at 30%. Um, but for this instance, I'm going to say we have verified them, um, and they've come back as 20%. So then we just hit save, and you'll see now the company is created as a supplier in our suppliers list. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bill for the supplier, and you can see here it automatically pre-fills in a lot of the information for us. Now we're going to put the date of the bill as the 4th of April 2019. And we're going to say that they've done five days worth of labor as per their invoice and that labour come to a thousand pounds plus VAT if they are VAT registered. But we're also going to put that they supplied us with um, some materials. So if you just type CIS in the next line and go to this one which is supplies and materials cost of sales. Um, that's the one you need to select if, if a subcontractor is supplying materials. Um, supply materials and again that will come at a thousand pounds plus VAT. So you can see, pardon me, uh, you can see that the system has already worked out all your VAT, all your CIS in one foul swoop. It doesn't mean that you have to do extra invoice or credit notes like with some older accounting solutions. This has worked it out all in one go for you. So now what we'll do is we'll save and close that. Uh, I didn't save that bit. CIS. So 
what happens when the system doesn't just take on what you say initially at the same time. So what you can see is you can see that the amount due is £2,200. Now if it was a straight £2,000 worth of that, that would actually be 2400 But the system is auto automatically worked out that you're not going to be paying £200 worth of the bill because that's the CIS tax that it's deducted. So you'll only ever leave the open balance of what you're due to pay. So when you come to pay these people, you're not going to make them say, oh, I have to deduct the tax. It's already done it for you. So now what you need to do is you need to just go and make the payment. So now we're going to make the payment. And I'm going to say that I've paid them a week later, roughly. And I've paid them the whole amount. And that's not a problem. And I save and close that. And now you can see that the balance in the, in the supplier is zero. Now what you can do is you can go to taxes, CIS. You can see here in the month of April, which starts on the 6th of April 2019 and finishes on the 5th of April 2019 and needs to be filed by the 19th of May sorry, 2019, that you've deducted £200 worth of CIS from your subcontractors. You can view the statements, so you can see who it is and you can export it as a PDF um, or you can submit it to HMRC. You can actually view the return itself, so that's the return as well. Um, and if you export the statement as a PDF, it shows you here ABC 2400 is the gross amount paid, less the materials, less the amount liable for deduction, the amount deducted, amount paid, so it's £400 worth of VAT, so total payments excluding VAT. This gives you the report for uh, the payment deduction statement for yourself and shows for your subcontractors okay so you, you can get a good m amount of information there um, and you can also export it to Excel so that's how you would run your subcontractors inside your QuickBooks online system it gives you the ability to make sure that it does all the calculations for you so it makes it a much much easier process and especially if you've got a bank feed into the system as well and obviously the invoices match then it makes uh, paying off and making sure that you've paid your subcontractors very, very easy. So you haven't got people coming to you saying, oh, you haven't paid me this week or that week or whatever, or you haven't deducted the right amount of tax. You can then pull these returns off and give them to your accountant to submit if they're submitting on your on your behalf, or you can submit them yourself if, you, if that's what you do. So like I said, this system, and the same with Zero, same with Free Agent, it makes um, running your construction industry scheme a much simpler process than the old fashioned pen and paper or using say time 50 where you have to do invoices and credit notes so use the system for what it needs to be used for and you'll find a great great benefit from it so that's all we've got time for today as I mentioned at the start of the video if you're new here click the subscribe click the bell hit the like button leave a comment if you wish if you want to get in contact and just tell us how you're finding the videos, if they're helpful or not, and we will see you soon. Bye.